animal breeding is the controlled propagation of animals to achieve desirable qualities of farm animals and increase the yield of these animals. The term breed refers to a group of animals within a species related by ancestors and possessing many similar characters such as appearance, behavior and size. For example, Jersey and Leghorn are very popular breeds of cattle and chicken used for breeding. Animal breeding is divided into two main categories, inbreeding and outbreeding. Inbreeding is breeding between animals belonging to the same breed with a common ancestor. Whereas outbreeding is breeding between animals belonging to different breeds or between the same breed but with different ancestors or between different species. Let us learn more about inbreeding. Animals selected for inbreeding are of superior quality and are closely related for four to six generations. A superior quality cow is one that produces more milk and a superior bull is one that is a strong draft animal and gives rise to superior offspring. Subsequently, mating is carried out between offspring which have superior qualities. Thus, inbreeding increases homozygosity in animals. That is, it results in a pure line of animals with desired characters. This is similar to Mendel's experiment that yielded homozygous pure lines in pea plants. Inbreeding also helps in the expression of desirable characters and the elimination of undesirable characters in the offspring. However, inbreeding can increase the chance of expression of recessive genes which are harmful. If inbreeding among closely related breeds is continued, it can result in inbreeding depression, which is reduced fertility and productivity. Now let's learn more about outbreeding. Outbreeding can be carried out in three ways, outcrossing, crossbreeding and interspecific hybridization. Outcrossing is mating between animals of the same breed but with no common ancestors for up to four to six generations on either side. This type of breeding overcomes inbreeding depression. Crossbreeding is mating between animals of superior quality belonging to different breeds to produce hybrids possessing superior qualities of both their parents. For example, Jersey with a long lactation period and Red Sindhi with high disease resistance are mated for a new breed with both the desired characters called Jersindh. The new breed obtained is then subject to inbreeding to increase the herd population. Another example of crossbreeding is the cross between Bicaneri ewes and Merino rams to form a new sheep breed, Hisar Dale. The third type of outbreeding is interspecific hybridization, where animals of two different species are mated. For example, mating between a male donkey and a female horse to form a new breed, a mule. Although most new breeds are infertile, they have high economic value. Both inbreeding and outbreeding can also be carried out using controlled breeding experiments. Artificial insemination is one such method. In artificial insemination, semen is first collected from the superior male. 
The semen is then injected into the reproductive tract or vagina of the female animal or can be frozen for future use. Thus, artificial insemination is carried out to overcome problems in natural breeding and also to carry out mating between animals that are geographically separated. However, the success of animal breeding using artificial insemination is low. And so new techniques like multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology or MOET were developed. MOET involves the administration of gonadotrophic hormones like FSH and LH to female animals which induce maturation of follicles resulting in superovulation. Superovulation is the production of six to eight eggs instead of one egg. The superovulated female is mated with a superior male either through natural mating or artificial insemination. This results in fertilization of all the eggs. When the fertilized eggs reach the 8 to 32 cell stage, they are non-surgically removed and then implanted into different surrogate mothers for further development in a process called embryo transfer. Now, the female animal can be used for superovulation once again. In this manner, MOET helps increase the herd population containing desirable characters in a short span of time. MOET is widely carried out in animals such as cattle, buffaloes and sheep. So different techniques such as artificial insemination and MOET along with various inbreeding and outbreeding methods are employed in animal breeding to produce offspring with superior qualities.